Okay. And, uh, played three Foolish Barrel Goods. Okay. Uh, normally you should only be playing two, but we played an extra target for goods that really? I... It's uh, the World Dino Wrestling. What the heck is this? Who are you? My name's Elise Davis. <laughs> and what'd you do today? Uh, I got top 32 at YCS Chicago. Unfortunately, lost that right away, but it's what it is. And what are you playing? Uh, I'm playing going second Sky Striker. Going second? Yeah, I, I I played it at a regional a couple weeks ago, and like I really liked how it ran because I'm always like trying to like lose the die roll and go second because I like yeah. playing in a boards more than anything else, and uh -huh. like going into the event, we we're thinking there's gonna be a lot more like Sky Striker and Altergeist, so uh -huh. it made sense to like. Uh, main like extra things to out them easier and then yeah. like go from there than it was to, like try and set reward like that but there's a bit more danger and uh, thunder dragon but we still had stuff to mitigate it well enough so yeah. I think we constructed a good enough list and by we I mean like Justin Singh made the list so you know okay. it's always fun but... and what's your end goal for this deck um uh, like honestly I freestyle a lot it's just like end goal and any sky striker deck see Ray uh -huh. just it, it you know, just maintain control as much as possible, and like with going second, you're just breaking boards, and yeah. it's just another way to control in that sense. So it's just control as much as Let's possible. Get into this spicy list. All right, so we got three Ray. Uh, it's the spiciest part of the list. I'm just kidding. It's oh, really? oh, I thought it was. No, it's I very mean, spicy. Ray's, Ray's my babe, man. Uh, you know, like I have my phone background as Ray. Ray's. Uh, really, you do? Good. Oh yeah. Let me. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see this stuff. Are you lying or not? Whoa, you are not lying. Yo, raise my bay. Oh, like, man. Uh, all right. And then uh, three Pankatrops. Like I said, what? Uh, so, like I said, for the going second list, yeah. Pankatrops made a lot of sense for an Altergeist and Mirror Match infested, like, waters. It's still not bad against, like, Thunder and Danger in some applications, but, like, it's really good against everything that's not Thunder and Danger. So, I think it was worth it and definitely uh, pulled its weight. Like, I only had to, like, fully set it out a couple times, but it. Uh -huh. It, yeah, it performed very well. I, okay. I'm very happy with it. Uh, free Ash, I think that's necessary. Yeah. Uh, two Bell, it seemed like it would have the most applications in game one against the whole playing field, because we still expect the Thunder to be really big, and mm -hmm. then like, it even does some stuff against Altergeist and then the Mirror Match, so. There wasn't really anything I probably would have rather played, like maybe Valor, but I wouldn't have main Droll, like I would have probably sided that, but I don't know, card is still really nice, so. Yeah, good against um, Thunder Dragons. It's all for the monsters, uh, spells, three engage, engage, three widow. Engage! So good! I mean, yeah, cards are pretty broken. Uh, yeah, three widow, two multiple, only uh -huh. felt like we needed two. Yeah. Only two field spell, only felt like we needed two. Uh -huh. And like, we just need room for a couple other things, because we are playing three before, but. Yep. And then uh, the one ofs, Hornet Drones, Eagle, Shark Cannon, and Afterburners. Uh, no jamming waves or Hercules base in the main, just because they're kind of bricks when you're, uh, going second so yeah. we decided into them and then put them in if we need it against the grindier stuff oh you're still putting it aside yeah it, it was still worth it so but i'll show it when we get to the side okay. and then, uh, played three foolish barrel goods okay. uh normally you should only be playing two but we played an extra target for goods that really? i it's uh the world dino wrestling what the heck is this so uh when you uh when it's in graveyard you can banish it if your opponent controls a monster and then summon a dino wrestler from your deck so it's just another way to see Pankatrops, again, yeah. thinking that the field was going to be more like mirror matches than Altergeist, which, again, this card came up like plenty, and it was still really nice, because also you could just like twin twister it away, or like uh -huh. twin twister discard it, and then just banish it, attack over their monster, kill their third back row, and like, I guess, that is right? super strong. Uh, and then the one fusion for yep. the other goods target. Uh, only two twin twister, uh -huh. uh, because we made the Pankatrops, so this isn't as much of a blood. Yeah. We also have evenly in the main, so like, it's not as much of a blood compared to what else we have. Uh, only one terraforming. What? All, what? We, we only have room for that. What the? Oh, well, apparently, we're, we're, remember, me and Justin are the ones that uh, cut uh, die, or, uh, terraforming in Draco before. So, you know, apparently, we're just cutting terraformings all the time. Oh, wow, yeah. And then uh, one Rota. It's okay. all, you know, you need to see Ray. Uh, three impermanence, duh. And then three even the matched. Um, Clean out, flush the toilet. The, yeah, the, this deck, I don't think, would function as well without it. Yep. And, like, even against Thunder, like, the Danger Thunder deck, like, if you open this in, like, enough outs, like, I don't know. It, it has too many applications where it's worth it. Like, it's only bad against, like, the Danger FTK deck, but, yeah. like, it's what it is. Uh -huh. uh, anyways, uh, we'll go to the extra deck. We extra got time. Three Kigari. Red girl. Three Shizuku. We don't have the ultis of this, because uh, my collection is currently uh, locked up with the police. Still? Yes. What? what did it, they do with it? Like, play Yu-Gi-Oh! in the little thing? 
No, I guess they gotta just like charge the dude and like it legal process apparently takes a long time. It's really annoying. This is annoying. Um, I'm sorry. It's what it is though. Um, and then three high and say you have to. Uh, the one kinda didn't come up much for me, but I think you still need to play it. Is it utility or for time? Uh it's more for time than anything else, but like it's just an extra name and uh it comes up in some grind situations, but like I think you need to play it, but yeah. it's not like Great. Uh, and then this to out Secret Village against Alter Geist. Didn't play against Alter Geist, so like, no? this is fucking useless. Ah! But that's fine. Uh, then the Phoenix and the Unicorn. Yep. Uh, they're necessary. Ningirsu just is oh, an extra. Ninja guy. I like this guy. I mean, yeah. Uh, always like playing this. It's just extra spot removal. Oh. I might have wanted to play Triple Burst instead, but I don't think it would have been like necessary. Then the Boral Sword, we got OTK. You have to. OTK time! I, I don't think you should play this deck without Boral Sword. You uh, can't play it without a Boral Sword. Right, uh, and then for the extra deck, uh, like I said, the three Ogre, or the, the side, side deck. deck. Side, yep. side, 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 side. We're side in. <laughs> We're side in the Ogres, but uh, okay. yeah, Ogre because like, it again seemed like it had like the most applications against like everything, and like, it just went in against more stuff than like, Maybe Droll could have, but I still kind of wish this was Droll, but it was still all right. So I think it was still worth it, but Droll would have, I think I would have liked Droll a little bit more. Okay. Uh, and then there's the base Our and planes. the uh, Jamming Waves, just yep. so we're playing against back or grindy decks. Like, otherwise the base isn't needed. Okay. Uh, only two Shared Ride. We, no. cut the third, we cut the third Shared Ride last second so we could fit in the base, because again, we, we expected way too much out of this tournament apparently, but it's <laughs> what it is. And then uh, the last twin, and then uh, Heavy Storm Duster, because ah. we wanted more against like Alter Geist, everything else, and if we're forced to go first, we all, it should have probably been Typhoon, but I turned to my deck list, and then Justin was like, oh, we should probably play Typhoon instead, ah, and I'm like... Too late. I mean, it... I don't we didn't think play the Alter Geist, though. Yeah, I don't think anything else, or I don't think Typhoon came up at all for me when, like, that would have won me anything, so I think it was fine. Okay. And then, uh... Free summit limit. This card what? was super nice. What? So uh, we were playing. There could be only one instead of this before, but yeah. uh, it has so many more applications against like the danger and thunder deck. Like the, it actually stops them as compared to like a soft hit. Like uh, especially with how like the thunder dragon was just playing danger now. Like if it was just pure thunder dragon, I think mm. there could be only one to be better. But this stops every combo deck and it brings them to the pace that you need to. And it's. Ugh. And then the warning and the judgment, just if we need to go first, or we know they're going to make us go uh -huh. first, because, like, again, the danger in the Thunder decks, we need to go first against them. There, there's no questioning it. Um, but, yeah, that's it for the list. Uh, I got some shout-outs. Shout-out to Justin Singh, like I said. Uh, Shout-out! <laughs> yeah, he made the list. Uh, he, he's unbanned now, but yeah. he unfortunately did not top today. Uh, but, uh, you know, he'll have his time soon. Uh, Shout-out to my friends from back home. Uh, that lent me cards because, I, like I said, zero Yu-Gi-Oh cards I own except for Shizuku's for some yeah, reason. Yeah, it's like, it's so random. Yeah, so like, shout out to all of them. Like, they made it so I could keep playing this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, and huh? like, yeah, it, I would not be able to do any of this without them. So, I, thank you to all of them. Uh, shout out to Brian Clean as Cat Izzy. Uh, she's very cute and probably is the reason why I topped. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Cody Angeloff. He tried to tell me last second that I needed to play the summon limits. Yeah. And then Justin told me right before that, but he wanted a shout out anyways. So shout out to Cody. Uh, okay. then shout out to uh, Alex Space Lolly because he apparently invented Sky Striker. Sentoki! Yeah, Sentoki. That's not, not that. Sky Striker. Sentoki. He yeah, he's Sentoki. a Sentoki master apparently, yeah. and he said I had to, but you know. He has cool silver hair now. Oh, yeah, no, his <laughs> hair is very nice right now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, that's it. Um, yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, do you want a free shirt? Sure, I guess. Uh, if you're yeah, gonna give me a free shirt. Uh, here's your free shirt. This is a ranks um, app to make tournaments and stuff. One more thing, we're hosting a tournament. Free tournament. Winner gets five hundred dollars. Nice. Sounds like a good yeah. time. I Enjoy your shirt. Thank you. Congratulations. All I got for top. topic was a shirt and a mat. Oh, shirt and a mat. <laughs> shirt and a mat. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right. Bye bye. Thank you so much.